Worldwide parent coach and conscious educator Sue DeCaro is on a mission to revitalize the joy in parenting. Welcome to Conscious Parents, Thriving Kids, a podcast designed to help parents all over the world create deeper connections with themselves and their children while overcoming life's daily parenting challenges. Listen in if you want to bring more laughter, love, and enjoyment to your home life. Welcome to Conscious Parents, Thriving Kids, a place for all things parenting. I am your host, Sue DeCaro. In today's episode, I want to talk about choices. We all have them. Every day, we make an infinite number of choices, whether we are aware of them or not. We choose to get out of bed, we choose when to eat, who to speak with, how to speak, how we move our bodies, and so on and so forth. These are all choices that we consciously make. Our choices are not determined by our background or conditioning. They are determined by our wants and desires. We are often taught what is important, which ultimately remains with us through our lives. It can actually impact how we look at our choices. As such, we are forever shaped and are made to believe and behave in a way that is consistent with what is important. I wanted to share a little story with you. In a recent conversation with a family member, I was forced to ponder how we make these choices. This individual, I'll share it was my mother, was adamant about how she must get on the treadmill at 8.30 a.m., forcing herself to spring out of bed at 8 a.m. This was voiced to me as a complaint, as needing to move her body at that hour was an absolute must What is a must? I see a must as needing to use the restroom or report to work or leave the house for a fire or other emergency perhaps, but not this. My 88 year old mother proceeded to tell me that this is a force within her heart that she had to follow through on, not a choice. I struggled to hold my tongue. (laughs) I explained that this is in fact a choice and that she is making a decision every time she exercises. At 88 years old, I also stress that this decision is not always in the best interest of her health since when she exercises, she tends to lower her already low blood pressure and occasionally does not feel good. This is not a choice that revolves around good health. Additionally, it does not have to occur at 8 a.m. or 8.30 a.m. to jump out of bed at that hour. As I continued this heated discussion where I was adamant about getting my point across, I realized that this is the conditioning that holds an enormous place within my mother. She believes that she must exercise as a form of weight control. As this is something she has struggled with for decades, I know This is where it must stem from. She focuses a lot on personal appearance and size. Unfortunately, one cannot actually see a choice in the matter when the individual is wrapped up in an adamant belief system. So my words were shed on deaf ears. What is important to me is that I know I have a choice. When I exercise, it is because I have chosen to do so. I don't have to. I get to, I want to, but because it's healthy and I feel healthy and I'm able to, I actually look at it as an option and a privilege. The option is the choice. The privilege is the fact that I can. I have an able body and able mind to do so. I am glad that my mother's own conditioning has not permeated my own belief system and has really led me to look at choices in a far greater way under a microscope. Every single day we make choices. Some of these choices are ours, and some of them we allow others to make. So I ask you, what choices are you giving up to others? Dr. Bobby Stevens says, it is important to understand that we are all making choices all the time, Even when we choose not to choose, we have still made a choice. It is our choices that determine our experiences. The choices we are making today 
will show up in our experiences in the future. I wanted to share that with you. I think it's just absolutely beautiful. So I'd love for you to think about how you want your choices today to show up in your tomorrow. Are you making choices based on what you've been led to believe is important? Are you making choices on your own values and your own thoughts and feelings? These are the things to think about as you move forward. And again, as always, if you have any questions or there is anything I can do to support you, reach out to me through my website, www.sudicaro.com. And also feel free to join my Facebook group. It's a private group for parents, totally free, called Conscious Parents, Thriving Kids. I look forward to seeing you there. Take care. Thank you so much for listening. And remember, every moment is a new moment for Conscious Connections. Thanks for listening to Conscious Parents, Thriving Kids. If you like what you heard, the best compliment you can give us is to share this podcast with a friend. And be sure to give us some stars and a favorable review at Apple Podcasts or wherever you listen in.